said I'm a crush it. Call me the golden boy. Welcome to Unsung, the nonprofit news magazine show. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. In this episode, we're coming to you from a variety of places in beautiful downtown Pittsburgh, such as PPG Place. As you can tell from the scene behind me, the seasons are changing. They're setting up the ice rink for the winter season. In this edition of Unsung, we sat down with Raymar Hampshire and got the latest on the groundbreaking sponsor change. In the video spotlight, the weather was lousy, but the spirits were up at the Alzheimer's Walk at the Pittsburgh Zoo. But first, here's the news from our area nonprofits. Individual contributions that flowed into Pittsburgh Gives from midnight to midnight October 4th totaled $5.15 million, and they will each receive an equal prorated share of $750,000 matching funds, creating a total of $5.9 million raised for nonprofits. A day of giving for Westmoreland, which ran simultaneously, received public donations of nearly $440,000, which shared a match pool of $100,000. Read to the People, 1440 at 4400, is a 24 hour read aloud on the front steps of the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh main branch in Oakland. Library supporters will be reading aloud from their favorite books from noon on Friday, October 14th through noon on Saturday, October 15th to urge the community to get out and vote yes in support of Our Library, Our Future initiative on the November 8th ballot. Our Library, Our Future is a community-based initiative that has been organized to raise awareness about the need to provide financial support for Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh and the critical services that the library provides. Supporters of Our Library, Our Future initiative are asking Pittsburgh residents to vote yes on a referendum on the ballot in November for a 0.25 mil special tax on all taxable real estate in the city of Pittsburgh to be allocated and used only for the maintenance and operation of Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh. This equals to about $25 per year or $2.09 per month on $100,000 of assessed value. If passed, the referendum will help provide Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh with the diverse and sustainable funding it needs to continue to provide the critical services the community wants and needs. The Association of Fundraising Professionals, Western Pennsylvania Chapter, announced a call for applicants for its 2012 Diversity Fellows Program. The Diversity Fellows Program is an outreach initiative of the AFPWPA, which extends scholarship opportunities to minority and underrepresented populations for inclusion in the chapter's membership. The Diversity Fellows Program is intended to increase awareness of mutual benefits of diversity and inclusion for chapter members, offer guidance to underrepresented fundraising professionals in achieving their career objectives, provide mentoring, networking and professional development opportunities to minority fundraising professionals. Jeff Lucasina, a diversity committee member guiding the selection process stated, the need for this program was evident through our review of current membership. It is critical for our organization to have representation across all ethnic and underrepresented backgrounds. And this program will help provide access to these populations. Deadline for applications is November 30th. For more information about the 2012 Diversity Fellows Program and application information, visit the AFPWPA website at afpwpa.org. We recently talked with Raymar Hampshire on campus at Carnegie Mellon University to talk about his work with SponsorChange.org. Here's the report. Basically, our whole mission is to help college graduates and students uh, give back and also pay back uh, those pesky student loans. Um, so we've been able to actually uh, sponsor up to 20 volunteers, we call them change agents, um, and we have matched them uh, at nonprofits across Pittsburgh um, to help nonprofits um, complete and finish uh, projects that they have. Um, and in addition, help the college students and graduates gain valuable professional development skills um, and also uh, be able to raise funds through individual sponsors to pay down their student loans and, and corporate sponsors to pay down their student loans. 
Yeah, the, the technology angle is really the, the most challenging piece, but at the same time, the most uh, fascinating aspect of our, of our, of our business. Um, we're creating an online marketplace where uh, nonprofits, people who want to donate, uh, to, to sponsor uh, service and also volunteers who are college students and graduates can come together and interact and communicate with each other. Um, in this space, as a, as a donor, I can, I can focus my giving to sponsor a particular person, a cause, or a nonprofit. As a participant, one of the first things you want to do is, is go to www.sponsorchange.org and sign up. Uh, that way, uh, we have you in our database. And when you sign up, we ask you uh, things such as your skills, where you're, where you're located, um, how many hours a week can, can you volunteer. Um, that's the first thing you can do. And then when we have projects from nonprofits uh, that are posted to our website, we look to match uh, those college students and graduates who have signed up to those projects. And it's a first come, first serve basis. And uh, so we match them up by skills, match them up by location, um, and what we do is we send our top choices to the nonprofit, and the nonprofit actually has a chance to, to vet our, our, th those applicants. And the nonprofit ultimately has the final decision um, as to who's actually going to do the project for them. People can find more information at www.sponsoredchange.org. We're all about helping those who want to give back, pay back. We're all about helping people pay down those student loans, nonprofits get the volunteers that they, that they deserve, and also donors uh, giving them the ability to actually focus their giving on a particular person, project, or cause. Correspondent Melissa Carey braved the wind, cold, and rain, and so did thousands of walkers that came out in support of Alzheimer's research. We're here at the Walk Den Alzheimer's at the Pittsburgh Zoo, and I have this wonderful group, Sigma Kappas, and they've designated Emily to give us a little bit of information about why they came out and why this is important to them. Can you tell us where you're from? Hi, we're the sisters of Sigma Kappa Gamma Upsilon, and we're from California, University of Pennsylvania, and we come out every year to support this cause. It's one of our main philanthropies that we donate to. And all of us can say that we've been touched by the horrible disease of Alzheimer's. And so it really means a lot to us that this is our main plan. Well, we raised over $800 so far. We, um, we, send, out, we send out main um, emails and we have everybody register online. And you can have the option to donate in cash or online. And online donation has made it so much easier for us. Awesome. Thank you, Sigma Kappa. Is everybody safe? Thank you. I'd like to thank Brittany from Sigma Kappa. We just talked with their group. She's going to share with us a little bit about her grandmother. Brittany, can you tell us um, how Alzheimer's affected you? Yes. Um, growing up, it was I never really noticed what Alzheimer's was because it kind of influenced my life as I was growing up. Um, it just kind of came about when I found out like my, I would come up and visit my grandmother and. She, she lived quite a distance from me, um, and I'd only see her like one, maybe once a year, and every time I'd go up, you know, you'd get hugs and stuff from your grandma, and one year she just didn't remember my name. Um, and then she slowly drifted to the point where she couldn't even hold a fork, like she didn't know how to eat. It was just, it was a long time coming. She had Alzheimer's for more than 10 years. It was really hard, and she passed away two years ago, actually, um, this past September. And um, yeah, and then when I was up actually at her funeral, which is kind of a blessing in disguise, I guess, I got a Facebook message, a Facebook message from um, Sigma Kappa sisters, and they were like, hey, you should pledge our sorority, our philanthropies include Alzheimer's awareness. And I took it as like this sign, like, oh my gosh, maybe I should join this like organization and honestly like that saved me I think from I don't know I, it's just a good way to remember her. East End Brewing will hold their reverse keg ride on Saturday October 29th. This year's beneficiary is a board the advisory board on autism and related disorders. Cost is $15 and Scott from East End pre-donated on day of giving to make your donation go further reward his insight and ride for a great cause. All the details are at 
eastendbrewing.com slash 2011 reverse keg ride. Pittsburgh Party for a Purpose returns on October 22nd with the Big G Carnival at Shadow Lounge, a spectacular event to benefit G-Tech strategies. Growth Through Energy and Community Health Strategies is a nonprofit social enterprise investing in community revitalization through green economic development initiatives. Suggested donation is $10 and info is at pghpartyforapurpose.wordpress.com. Bricolage Theater concludes its 2011 season with Midnight Radio Zombie Apocalypse. The Midnight Radio team brings you a radio-style parody of George Romero's cult classic, Night of the Living Dead. Interspersed with their unique brand of comedic commercials, sound effects, live music, and fake breaking news, the actors will be joined on stage by Cello Fury. Tickets are $25 and can be purchased at brownpapertickets.com. The Ukrainian American Film Festival runs October 7th through November 6, 2011 at the Baverso Theater at the Father Ryan Arts Center, a few minutes drive from downtown Pittsburgh. The festival will introduce local residents to unique viewpoints and will showcase films from Ukraine, USA, Canada, and Western Europe with Ukrainian content. Many of the film screenings will also feature a Ukrainian cuisine reception and appearances by film directors, experts, and professionals from local universities to provide an interactive environment and all-encompassing experience. Tickets can be purchased online at ucowpa.org. Thanks for watching this episode of Unsung. I've been your host, Anthony Walker. You can check out previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series over at pittsburghonvideo.org. Be sure to tell your friends and leave comments. Keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. I'm gonna go help them get this stuff done so I can get some skating in. So I said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. And these dudes fuck they can't even find a day job I stay hard with or without Viagra And I said the flow crush like the force of Niagara I'm after a major label budget But since I'm not